students welcome to eternal ac education in this session you are going to learn chapter 9 list content of the session is changing elements adding elements that means in this session you are going to learn how to change the elements in a list and how to add new elements to your list let's we start the session changing element changing list elements in python the lists are mutable which means they can be changed a list element or range of elements can be changed that means a single element or set of elements can be changed or altered by using simple assignment operator equal the syntax is list name within the square bracket we have to say the index value equal then the new value next syntax is list variable name within the square bracket we have to say the range starting from which place to which place the values to be changed see the example my list 2 4 5 8 10 my list elements before update for x in my list i hope you remember this so for loop can be used to fetch the elements in a list one by one so print x what will be the output it will print 2 4 5 8 10 10 am i right next they are changing as my list of 2 equal 6 they are changing a single element in the index value of 2 as 6 that means 2 0 1 2 the second index value of 5 is going to be changed as 6 next my list elements after updation again they are using a for loop to print the values we'll see in the python window can you able to see the example we'll run and see the output yes my element list before updation this line is printed next using the for loop they are taking all the elements in the list one by one so 2 4 5 8 10 is it is printing what is given in the list value then they are changing the index value of 2 to the value of 6 so what would be the output 0 1 2 so the 5 should be changed to 6 yes it is changed so easily we can change the element in a list simply using the operator equal this is one method of changing the element in changing single element now we are going to see how to change set of elements so adding more that means see this changing list elements where index is the beginning index of the range that means zero index to its upper limit of the range which is excluded in the range here you have to note a point see the list given 1 3 5 7 9 these are the values am i right what is the index value 0 1 2 3 4 as it is five elements index is starting from 0 to 4 but if we want to change the whole list then i have to take the upper value as one one point that means one value incremented can you see it is 0 to 5 why it is 0 to 5 because it must be like that the upper value should be excluded in the range that means if it is 5 it will take up to 4 so as it is elements of 5 it is taken as 0 colon 5 we'll see with the example now see the example same program just i am adding the line instead of giving single index value we are giving a set of index value 
0 to 5. So here 5 elements, here also new 5 elements. So it is going to modify, that means update all the new values to the old value. Able to for able to understand this 2458. After adding this line 0 to 5 has 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, it is changed. So is it clear how to change the value in a list? Two ways. One is to giving that means one method is changing only one element using the index value. Another one is changing set of value using by use uh, by giving the index value starting to ending if it is a single index value it will change only particular element if it is a range it will change the elements present in that particular range now i want to insist a point here they are using a for x in my list we can directly print the values also without using for loop. Do you remember accessing the elements in the list can be done without for loop also. So instead of using the for loop, we can simply give the name here. That means the list variable name. Do you know why I am um, uh, taking the indentation here? If there is no for loop, there should not be any indentation or else it will be a error. You must be very careful about the space in Python. That means indentation is very, very important. Can you see this? So, using for loop also we can fetch, without for loop also we can able to print the values. But for loop is used when there is a modification in each element. For loop also important, but we must know without for loop also we can print a list. So, we learned how to change the elements in an existing list particular index value and range of index value. Next point is how to add elements. We don't want to change anything, but we want to add. Then we can use two functions. One is append, another one is extend. Append will add one element, that is single element. Extend will add more than one element, but both will add the elements only at the end position list upment the element to be added list extent set of elements to be added can you see this my list 34 45 98 up and 90 so 90 will added at the end here 71 32 29 set of values are given in the function of extent the set of values added at the end see in this uh, ID same program three thirty four forty five forty eight. So while we are adding the ninety, it is added at the end by using extent seventy one thirty two twenty nine. So to the ninety, it is added. So already it was ninety. Again, the seventy one thirty two twenty nine are added at the end. So simply we can use the append and extend function. Append single value, extend set of values, but only at the end of the list. Then there must be a need. I want to add an element at a particular index value. How to do it? If you want to include an element at your desired position, you can use insert function. Insert function is used to insert an element at any position of a list. Syntax is list in insert position of the index comma element. So my list 
they are given as 349847 and name Kannan Gauri Shankar Lenin Srinivas. They are asking to print and the third position. So what is the meaning of third position? 0, 1, 2, 3. So the value should be before the val Kannan. Am I right? 3 Ramakrishnan is added in the that means in the third index value the name of Ramakrishnan is added that means 0 1 2 3 so here Ramakrishnan should become the canon will be moved forward here is the output given 34 98 47 Ramakrishnan then canon name is coming So, adding element at the end, single element, adding set of elements at the end using extend function. Using insert function, we can add an element at a particular index value. So, as it is in third location, 0, 1, 2, 3, third location is Ramakrishnan, then all the values are added. Is it clear children? Only three functions are used for adding element to a list, up and extend, insert. So we will have a recap. Changing or modifying the list. Changing element in a particular index. Changing element from start to end index. Adding. Up and adding single element at the end. Extend function adding more than one element at the end. Insert function adding element at a particular index. So this is the content of this session. Try this in your system. Thank you. Have a good day.